All of the glory, all of the mercy, the honor, it belonged to our God. I bring you greetings from the Union Street Church of Christ in Tunica, Mississippi, and churches of Christ throughout this world. I want to say to those of you that are members of the body of Christ, that we give thanks to the Lord for this new year that is upon us, this new year that God has allowed us to live to see, this 2015. And we want to be better this year than we've been in time past, not only on Facebook, but even in our own communities, in our own local congregations. And we want to encourage those of you to stand in full support of the truth. We need you to be vocal in saying and giving your approval and sharing the information. Sometime when ministers are preaching the gospel of Christ here on Facebook, we want you to share it with the world with us because God, he wants us to do more than we ever did before in time past. I want to encourage you with just the briefing. Revelations, the third chapter. Certainly we have this name that we live, but so many times we are dead as a congregation. We are dead as a congregation at worship and commitment to our God. There will be time that we will come short in doing the Lord's business. But then God, he gives us strength that we carry on because we don't want to be a dead church. We don't want to be a dead church in a world that is lost, in a world that is drifting farther and farther away from God. You read about the church in Sardis. They were one that had the name that they live, but in their lifestyle, they were dead as a congregation. We don't want to be that way. So we tend to encourage each and every one of us, those who are members of the body of Christ. Here, John, he received revelation from the Lord in Revelations, the third chapter. He said, and unto the angel of the church in Sardis write these things, said he that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest, and are dead. Certainly Sardis was the same kind of congregation that churches are even in the world today. We have the name, but in so many ways we are dead because we are not about the business of God. And 2015 should be different in all of our lives. We must attend to the worship and to the service of our God in order that we might save those that are lost in preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. He tells the church, be watchful and strengthen the thing that remain, that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt know what hour that I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Certainly we want to walk with the Lord one day. We want to be with him. There are things I say again that in our lives, we're not going to do everything right. But God, he gives us opportunity. He gives us time. We will never be that perfect person, but we are in Christ Jesus, and he's the propitiation of our sins. He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You read 1 John chapter 1. If a man say that he had not sinned, he make it God a liar, and the truth is not in him. Certainly the truth is not abiding in so many even today. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess him even before my father and before his angels. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. God is talking to us. He's talking to us now in 2015. We as the body of Christ, let us go and do the will of God. To those of you that are not members of the church, you come to God by hearing his word, Romans 10, 17. You believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. 
Repent of your sin. That's giving up whatever is stopping you from being right with God. Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son. Matthew 10, 32 and 33. You must be baptized in water to have your sin washed away. Acts 2, 38. Mark 16, 15, 16. Continue to be faithful unto death. And Jesus Christ will give us a crown that faded not away. Revelations 2 and 10. John 8, 31 and 32. Visit the church of Christ that is nearest you. And when you get there, for God's sake, please ask questions. God bless you and God keep you tonight. In Jesus' name we pray and ask it all. Amen.